So a few years back, I, I took on the arduous task of transferring our our family VHS tapes over to DVD. And this was not a fun task. I mean, it took a lot of hours, but as I put each VHS tape in and press the transfer button, I found myself glued to the screen. Now, now in fairness, a lot of the videos were just, uh, you know, just mundane stuff, but a lot of them were really interesting. And 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 one in particular I remember when my my son was five and, and my my daughter was two or four and a half and two, something like that. It was Christmas. And the 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 video was focused on my son who was opening up a massive amount of presents and every time he opened one up he would say inevitably the same thing I always wanted this and then he would toss it aside open another gift and say the very same thing all the while my little two-year-old daughter is up in the back on a on a on a, a little dollhouse that had stairs and she's trying to walk up the stairs as cute as she was so you, you had these two little factions going on here, but the one I wanted to focus on was my son. You see, he's really, even at five years old, he's a representative of mankind. We're never satisfied. We're always looking for something else. And in truth, we really need very little to get by. But the problem is our eyes get green with envy as we look at things and we want them so bad. But yet when we get them, they're unfulfilling. And I know one thing, that was my life. I had to have the best of it, I, the fastest cars, I the most beautiful looking cars, I love that stuff. But at the end of the day, nothing ever satisfied me until that day in May of 1995, when at RFK Stadium for a Promise Keepers convention, I accepted Jesus and he filled the void that all those other things could not fill. So I'd like to challenge you today. I'd like to challenge you to think about all those toys and all those things and all those desires and really peel back the layers and say to yourself, do I really need that? Because there is a major difference between want and need. He said he'll supply everything you need, not necessarily everything you want, although you may get that. The bottom line is, when you do get it, what do you do with it? I'm hoping that when you do get it, if you do get it, that you'll use it not only for his glory, but to help other people. My name is Joe Pellegrino, and this has been a Legacy Minute. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.